Hello everyone, this is Ruse HD. I'm just doing my very first video of my Ruse series. I'm going to be broadcasting high level 1v1s and possibly 2v2s. I'm just going to be starting off making a bunch of introductory videos, pretty much all the basic nations and what they do and how you should play them. Uh, some basic Ruse strategies I'm going to be going over and uh, maybe even the gameplay like how you should approach certain situations when it comes to ruse because this is a very complicated RTS and there's a lot of things you need to know to be successful in this game I'm gonna start off uh, with the most basic and balanced nation would be the Americans I would say if you were a brand new ruse player I would definitely recommend playing with USA to start uh, your gaming on ruse because by far they have the most balanced units they have a wide variety of good units to use and if you're brand new to the game you might get overwhelmed by some of the special strategies that other opponents use especially the high level playing guys and uh, USA will help you counter that a bit because they have such great wealth in uh, unit composition so I'm going to start it off going into the USA tab now I'm going to go through all the units and uh, what they do and then after I'm done, I will pretty much go back and tell you what units not to use and what units to use. Since there are some units and some nations that are pretty much a waste of income and uh, won't really help you in the long run in the game uh, to be successful. So, so far right now we got the machine gun nest. It's uh, $20. It pretty much is just 250 cals like it says. And uh, they do heavy damage against inf infantry. They're good for protecting... Uh, infantry rushes that would pretty much be about it um, but I would not recommend actually using uh, the machine gun nest at all when you're playing um, you can use the AA nest which I'll get into in a second but right now for the $20 price for the machine gun nest there's no point to buy that when it comes to ruse now we're on the anti-tank bunker this can be good but most anti-tank bunkers in this game their range is too short and if you get tank rushed one bunker will do nothing for you especially with artillery including the composition the anti-tank bunkers are pretty much worthless in this game uh... their range is so short that an advanced medium or i believe at least a heavy could outrange the shelter and take it down in a couple shots which pretty much renders the anti-tank bunker useless it's only good for early game if you get overwhelmed by tanks and at $25 cost for the Americans it's very cheap you can produce too quickly and with blitz and get them out there and uh, defend that tank rush now by far my probably favorite unit because it does so many things to help your, you out is the anti-air bunker um, this is pretty much as you can see on the right side it does very heavy damage to infantry and does very very heavy damage to planes um, it shoots fairly slow because it's got bow fours, which is a very slow shooting AA gun, but it is still very effective, especially against early rush if you're not used to playing the British since they're used to early rushes. The $30 anti air bunker is very useful. Now, moving on to the barracks, uh, the Willie's Jeep. <laughs> it is cheap, fast, and pretty much it's one of the best units you need when you're playing ruse recon is the most important thing by far recon is pretty much can win or lose you a battle at any point in time recon helps you find out where the enemy is where they're going without using your ruse cards so you can save them for other situations um, it's five dollars you can mass produce them you can pretty much push a bunch of willies out into the open spaces and get a beat on where your enemy's going or maybe even what they're producing if they uh, camouflage uh, net their buildings. If you don't understand what I'm talking about, the blitz and camouflage net, I'll get into that in another video. Don't worry, I'm just, for the people who know or, or have a little bit of knowledge, they will know what camouflage net blitzes and ruses are. I'll get into that to a later video. But very effective unit for $5. Doesn't do anything except provide recon, which is the most important thing to know or to have in this game is to know what your opponent is doing at all times. Now the Light Infantry GI. A very good unit. Um, pretty much if you can get three or four of these into a forest early on in the game, 
Uh, you can pretty much stop any rush unless they also have recon with them. Uh, very good unit. You can put them into towns, squares, put them in the woods. They can pretty much do a lot of work. And for $5, if you take down one tank, one medium tank, you've already paid for themselves, the $5 unit. They're very versatile. You can mass these pretty quickly, and you can get in a pretty solid rush in if you mass uh, light infantry with blitz uh, and radio silence, which, again, the ruses I'll get into later. But still, a very effective unit. Now we have the Rangers Heavy Infantry. Uh, these are a $25 research upgrade before you can buy them. Um, I haven't really used heavy infantry in Ruse. I don't really see a need for it since for the $25 upgrade I could spend that on so many more units that have a better value to me for that extra $25. Um, roughly if you play this game you might earn something just over a thousand dollars if you play a long match, maybe fifteen hundred you'll earn. So twenty-five doesn't sound that much, but trust me, when you're in the heat of battle in this game, you need every dollar you can get. Sometimes, like money doesn't come fast enough in this game. Sometimes, especially when you're in a very heated battle. Rangers, I wouldn't recommend using. They're good. They do extra damage to tanks and uh, extra damage to infantry, but that's pretty much it. As you can see, they only do one point each extra for a $25 upgrade. Not worth it in my opinion. Um, moving on to the artillery and anti-air bases now. These are pretty much the structure you will need to make in this game. Artillery and anti-air. Um, pretty much these things can win you a battle, especially the artillery. Artillery is very powerful in this game. Powerful as it was in the war and you will need this base by far probably out of almost most of the bases in this game since they provide so many good units for your army composition. Uh, Bofors, anti-aircraft gun, they're good for putting in trees, they can stop some tanks if they're light and they can stop infantry but I wouldn't recommend using Bofors unless you're going, unless the enemy is not using radio silence or you like if you're gonna if you're a rushing player, Bofors are not good. If you're a turtle player, if you like to stand back and play defense first and wear your opponent down, Bofors can help. But the next unit on the list is much better in my opinion, uh, the M16. It's uh, fast, mobile, and its AA guns shoot extremely quick. If you have two or three of these, you can easily uh, make a plane retreat before it gets to any of your units. Um, and for only $15 you can mass produce these and you can cover your entire army and uh, pretty much eliminate any air rush that the opponent would be using. Now for $50 though you can get the M19. Now this AA gun is incredible. This thing will shoot down any plane one versus one before it gets to the unit. Um, for $50, it is well worth it to get the M19 compared to the M16. I believe it's the M16. Yes, it is. Uh, for $50, it is well worth it. It has extra armor. It can take some tank hits, but I wouldn't recommend going against tanks. It destroys infantry like you wouldn't believe when you start playing this game. Infantry rushes can be a pain sometimes, especially if you don't see it coming, and this thing will eat infantry and eat planes, as you can see, as the very heavy, uh, pretty much five-star marker beside it. They're th double the cost of the M16 plus a $50 research upgrade, but it is well worth it to get these. If you have these in your army, there's no chance bombers or any fighter bombers are going to get near your units, especially if you have five or six of them, you can mow down pretty much any plane that gets in your way and you can just keep on pushing with your rush.